actually getting insight into Silicon's like private life outside of Jessica world, so I'm I'm intrigued. Da -da -da. Actually, it turns out his life is boring. Oh, Jessica's entered the room. Great. He swiveled the chair around to face her. Hello, Jessica. She bit down on her lips so hard that she risked cutting it, and the hand which wasn't holding onto the mop clenched into a tight fist by the side of a pink overall. Of all the nightmare situations, this one had to be the very worst. Sue him, then. Sleep well? Infuriating. Jessica blushed. <laughs> Who blushes infuriatingly? <laughs> <laughs> she picked up a plastic bottle, which appeared to show two lemons going into battle with an army of germs. None of this book makes fucking sense. But nothing did happen. His aching body reminded him, and his natural sexual arrogance made his fist clench with anger that frustration imposed on him from such an unlikely source. Grr, I'm so horny! Okay, so he's cornered her in the cloakroom. Jessica attempted to make her face look normal. But how the hell do you do something like that when all you could think about was how utterly irresistible the man was? You know that bit where he fought, tried to force her into sex? Don't worry about that. He's, a, he's utterly irresistible. We've gotten over it. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> and although she had called a halt to that blissful bout of passion, she couldn't deny that her body had been crying out for him. <coughs> I'd better get on with the floor, she said awkwardly, turning the hot tap on full and then jumping back as the red hot water splashed on her hand and she gave her a little yelp of pain. Ouch! Oh, I skipped a page forward. Good. Silicon made a clicking noise with his tongue and he walked over to her. And he calmly turned on the cold tap and held her flaming fingers beneath it. The water was deliciously cool and soothing, but his touch was even more unsettling than the stinging pain. Jessica tried to pull away, but he wouldn't let her. Leave it under the running water, he ordered. I said, leave it, Jessica! And yet this was just too odd. He was here, in the most inappropriate of settings, administrating hasty first aid to her. It's not all that inappropriate to hold someone's hand under a cold tap after they burn themselves. It's not a strictly unusual thing to do. Jessica, get, fix up your brain. She felt dizzy with shock and pleasure. <laughs> God, the water's probably gonna make an orgasm or give birth or something at some point. Everything was all wrong, and yet through all the confusion of her thoughts came the overwhelming sensation that she liked him touching her. Wow, that took like, that took so long to decide. Probably gonna flip flop again in the next page! She swallowed. Of course she liked him touching her. Who wouldn't? I can name so many people. So many. So many. After a couple of minutes, he turned the hand over and examined it, tracing a light fingertip over the still heated flesh. I think you will live. I'm okay, she amended, trying to pull her hand away. Maybe you are, he objected as he drew her towards the warmth of his body. But I'm not. Her eyes opened wide, startled by pleasure and shock. <gasps> Wait! What are you doing? This, he said. I have to do this. I must plant my seed and build a whole army of lemons. She knew he was going to kiss her. She had vowed last night as she listened to the ticking of her bedside clock and waited for the alarm to ring. He was going to kiss her and, although she knew she could stop it, she could no more have stopped it than willed the earth to stop turning. Silicon, she whispered. Oh. Like him again. Good on you. That is my name. Sure know how to talk to a girl, don't you? With a groan, he drove his mouth down on hers. She tasted sweet and minty, as if she had just brushed her teeth. He pulled her closer, his hands reaching down to cup her buttocks, and for the first time he appreciated how small she was. Until suddenly her knees threatened to give way, and perhaps he also sensed too that things were getting out of hand because he stopped kissing her. His Blue eyes! Looked almost black! Oh my god, is he turning into a demon? We can't stay here, he said flatly. Come back to my apartment. Don't you- don't you work here? Don't both of you- aren't you both at work? God, what is- what is- what is- what is even his job? Does he just sit there and have sex with his maids or something? Is that his job? No, she answered suddenly. I can't. She lifted her chin up and stared at him. Do you think I'm just gonna come back with you into your flat and let you make love to me? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Go on then, thought Jessica. Sack me. See if I care. So he's just asked her out to dinner. We're about to see what happens next. Okay, what? Wait. They've just gone to the most casual conversation about their upcoming dinner arrangement. Like, in the space of a second. When? How about Tuesday? Tuesday? That is the first evening I have three. I'm flying to Rome for the weekend. Rome? Mm. Ever been there? No, never. He moved a little closer, and he could see the sudden wild darkening of her eyes. Like a wolf, or a werewolf. Maybe she's a werewolf. Maybe he's a demon. Maybe something interesting will happen. With this book, he just don't know. He stared down 
down on her for one long moment, drifting a completive finger over the outline of her lips and feeling them tremble beneath his touch. So we want to still go on that day? And holding onto her stringing hand, Jessica was left weakly, staring after him as he walked out of the room without another word. We're about one third through the book. <laughs> one third. <laughs> this is being read so much. And we're one third through. Ah, goodbye. <laughs>